All right, Sagittarius, I'm back. My battery is dying. So let's go ahead and jump in, jump, jump into this. I talk too damn fast. I think that's why I be messing up. Okay, so let's jump into this. What's going on with Sagittarius for December? All right, so we have end of relationship. We have parental issues. And then we have missing your messages. So some of you could um, be going through some type of breakup at this time that was like in a um, different events were leading up to this point due to ways that you were raised. Anytime I see parental issues, I think about how you were raised growing up. And this could be by someone else's doing. Someone else could have cut it off with you, but you're starting to miss this person and their messages. You know, they, they probably text you all the time, checked in on you, and now you're missing that message that you're so used to getting. You're missing the messages that you're used to getting. Um, at the bottom, we have download lover. So for some of you, maybe someone broke up with you to be with someone else of the same sex or maybe this is something that this person's been hiding from you that they wanted to break up with you and they just allowed it to go on for too long I don't know why that's there we go all right so let's go ahead and look Yeah, so we have journey here. So someone is um, leaving a situation for something that is not as much hard work is what it looks like. So we have coffee here. So some type of ending, again, ending of a relationship or some type of dating situation. That's the end of a relationship here. It's marriage. Some of you at the end of a marriage. But definitely for those that aren't married, it's an end of some type of commitment. I have parental issues here. We have bad health under parental issues. So some of you have a toxic parent that's involved in this situation or a toxic parent that gave you values or certain personality traits that you were raised to believe were accurate when they really weren't. Why is missing your messages here? Yeah, official person is here. So some of you are missing messages from this person that you were involved with. We have thoughts at the bottom. So some of you are thinking about this situation. Why did it end the way that it did? Um, I feel like this was not something that was amicable. This was something that may have caught you off, caught you by surprise. But someone was not happy in this in this connection. <clears throat> So we have heart chakra, passion ignited. So this person um, made you guys happy. Look, we have harmony here. I think this is the lover's card. So it was definitely a real relationship. Someone felt that they had to hide how they felt. Hopefully that'll be answered because I don't know why. Heartache and loss. So like I said, one person here is very sad because they didn't want this to happen it's not something that they had come together and said okay this relationship isn't working let's break up someone just came to you or will come to you and say that they want to end a relationship or a commitment what's going on with such terrorists for this and this could be you guys going to someone and letting them know you no longer want to be in a relationship with them because they let their parents get in the inv involved in their relationship and it's just a toxic situation but yeah some of you could have been the one that's uh <laughs> leaving this situation we have accelerated motion so someone's trying to leave this connection quick I'm gonna try and say someone because it could definitely be just you or the other person. 
we have discontent and boredom. So this is the reason why someone's leaving. Um, their heart is no longer in this connection. They're bored. Um, it's not satisfying to them. Um, as you can see, this person is turning their back on like the good life. Like someone's just turning their back on it because they feel like they're just done with this situation. This could also be that someone's just not happy with this person. Um, it could be something that was just always about sex. It was a, a relationship that came together due to sex. And someone might have felt obligated to be in the, with this person. Sorry if you hear that. That's people upstairs. Um, also in the background, you have clouds surrounding what looks like penis penises in the background. You can't see it. If you guys have this deck, go ahead and pull out this uh, this one. It's hard to see, but back here. So maybe someone is no longer sexually attracted to you. And that's why the uh, relationship is ending. Maybe you don't want to have anything to do with them. It was a, it was fun at one time, but no longer, you know, get your uh, get your juices flowing. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but that's kind of what it is. I mean, you have to be realistic about uh, relationships. And if they're on the down low and you're, you know, someone of the opposite sex, then maybe they're just not attracted to you anymore. I don't know the Sagittarius for this thing. Sagittarius for this thing. All right, so we have transformation. It was in the reverse, but I really don't like reading these in reverse. So there's going to be some type of change. So things are going to move fast. Someone's going to leave this connection. It's going to cause a change of some sort in you or this other person. But we do have love begins. So this could actually be loving yourself. I think of this as like the Ace of Cups. A lot of you are going to start loving yourself, um, putting yourself first, doing what makes you happy, finding balance within your own life. Um, so this could also be like a blessing in disguise. At the bottom, we have deception and envy. So... Someone was hiding something from you. They could have been hiding the fact that you were not someone that they've seen as st uh, stability in their life. I feel like someone was just going along with this relationship for some type of gain. But with that down low lover, someone was low key not wanting to be in this situation. So this deception and envy is what this person, this type of behavior this person was having. They were being deceptive because they weren't being honest. Look, first card here, it was actually the tower in reverse. Let me, it was the tower in reverse and then the four of swords in reverse. So some of you were dealing with someone that was just basically moving too fast, and they just got burned out with this situation. There was some type of disruption of this connection between the two of you. It could have been an outside person. Um, realistically, I'm sorry to say this, but someone could have been using you for money. Because I just seen the Queen of Pentacles. Because they seen you as somebody stable. Um, and I feel like one person here was thinking long term, marriage, commitment. Um, but someone was really committed for what they can get out of the situation. So now that that's over, this person is either going to go into the next thing, they're moving fast towards the next thing, or you're realizing that this person was just using you for what you had. I'm going to such trades for this. So we have Ten of Wands here. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Two of Cups. <laughs> we have Six of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. So this kind of tells me you're better off with this person anyway. This person... Some of you may have struggled to let this person go. 
but they also caused you problems and they were a burden. This person with this Knight of Pentacles, this person couldn't keep a job. So you guys were having to take care of this person. Um, and this parental issues could actually be this person having a toxic parent. Someone who is has taught their child to get what they need by any means necessary. So with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, it's like you guys were having to take care of someone that you were committed to someone that you joined with so someone offered the same to you and then it's like you started to do too much especially financially and this is with the six of cups you guys are missing the memories because you refuse to see this person as a deceptive envious type of person they were hiding themselves they were wearing a mask they were being sneaky and this is something you refuse to see in them because they were a loving person at one point. So you thought, now you're looking at it like, damn, were they using me this whole time? And a lot of you could have history with this person. This could be someone from your past, someone that you've been on and off with for quite some time. So like, say if you guys get angry, then this person goes and moves on to the next person, then always comes back to you when they're tired of the other ones. So this is somebody that has no real direction. Whoever you guys were dealing with, they have no real direction and they just constantly up and move whenever. It could be a Gemini. It's like this person gets bored and tries to find something to spark their, their interest. And with this uh, Six of Wands here, like you guys are going to be victorious even if this person's not in your life. Like things are going to be fine for you. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. We have the Ace of Swords, wow. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the Moon card in reverse. <sighs> wow. This person was really deceptive. Whoever you guys were dealing with, this person was not fully committed to you. They were not fully giving you love that you deserved. Because the Ace of Cups is in reverse. So someone was holding back. But they talked a good game. They came at you like they had a lot to offer. And the reality is, is that they could not keep a job. This person lied about what they were doing. This person probably even lied about going to work. This is somebody that I feel like some of you were living with or are living with. They lie about going to work. And you started to realize that some bills were not getting paid. This person, okay. This person lies about going to work sometimes and they use other people to give them money to give to you. So if your person ever asks you for money or do you have a 20 or 40 here, that's so that they can pay the other person back. So while you're at work and working, your person's either at home or they leave the home acting like they're going to work when they're really going to another person's home or they're going to family members. So this person's been lying about working. <clears throat> we have Page of Swords here. We have Five of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. So yeah. This person, uh, this person may have gotten caught being somewhere when they were supposed to be at work. This person watches you and your schedule and what you do so that way they can make sure that they come home at the right time. This could be you trying to watch their schedule because you're starting to believe that they're not really where they say they are. But you're trying not to cause chaos. You're not trying to cause a conflict or, um, or an argument. So we have the star in reverse and then the seven of swords in reverse. So some of you are going to have to um, try to move on from this sneaky behavior that this person has done. This person has done a lot. 
And this can be this person. This person is not changing anytime soon. They're going to continue to be this way. They're going to be sneaky. So even if it's not with you, it's going to be with someone else. And that's because they haven't learned their lesson. And they don't have a parent that is the voice of reasoning. Their parent encourages this type of behavior. So it's like this person's going to keep getting caught. So even if they leave you and go to someone else, they're going to get caught lying. They're going to refuse to heal. And they're going to maybe act like, oh, you know, this person puts the points the blame in other areas. So when they do wrong or they get caught doing wrong, they'll blame somebody else for it. They'll bring up something that they've been watching for. See, now that this makes sense. This person looks for things that you may do. So that way, when you guys are in arguments, they can put it back on you and make it seem like you're the problem. So that's very narcissistic. Someone that tries to make it seem like you're the issue when it's something that they did. That's crazy. What else about Sagittarius? Yeah, so going into December, you guys are going to be um, going into December single and confident. You guys are okay. So I'm thinking you guys are the ones that are ending this situation. At first, it sounded like someone else was breaking up with you and that you were really missing them but even though i still feel like a lot of you will miss this person's messages because that's just something you got used to but this is something that needs to happen if you continue to be in this connection with this person it's going to bring you nothing but um nothing but problems because the will of fortune is in the reverse now your luck can change people can change but this person's really deep into like deception. And then we have this page of wands. So this person doesn't really even have much to offer. It's like this person didn't even work hard to get six. Like they just have an idea that, okay, I'm going to get six. And then they go get it. They don't think about consequences. They don't care where the where they put their stuff at. As long as they're getting it because it's an excitement. This person gets bored quickly. <clears throat> yeah, three of swords at the bottom. So this person has caused you pain multiple times. This is not the first time. This is somebody that has caused you pain multiple times. It's like nothing good happens when you're with this person. They balance you. They try to do too many things at once. They're impatient. They're not willing to look at themselves and try to figure out what they need to do. This person blocks you out when they do wrong. So they try to go into the hermit mode acting like they were done wrong. And I feel like every time that you try to move on, this person becomes upset. And they make, they communicate poorly. So it's like once they find, okay, this person does this all the time. I don't know how long you've been with this person, but with this high priestess being in the reverse, it's like this person does as much as they can to get away with until they're found out and then they move on to the next person. Because with new people, they don't have to, this, this new person doesn't know anything about them. So they can go through the whole process again and see if they can find that one person that's not willing to look into things a little bit further and ask questions because things are coming to to their mind with this clarity that something's not right so Sagittarius this is your December reading if this made sense to any of you guys please let me know and I will catch you guys in the next video